Eight kids, seven days, two parents, one family, zero food waste. It's Frugal Diner's Diary from Parsnips and Parsimony. Hey everybody, so welcome back to another episode of our Frugal Diner's Diary. This is my lunch episode for February, so what you're gonna see is a whole bunch of my lunches over the next six days and how we make it work for our family of 10. Remember, we eat almost every single lunch at home. That's 60 servings a week just on lunches. One of the main ways we keep our budget down is making sure that we have zero food waste. That means that we do eat our leftovers. We have our fine leftover meals and some of those concoctions come out a little strange, but no one, no one goes hungry and there's almost always leftovers. So that's a lot of our lunch meals. And then if there is anything that like apple cores or anything like that, that we have just from produce, you know, making our fruit, that goes right out to the chickens. Now I had an interesting experience this week and I'm going to insert a picture here for you guys to check out. Can you guys guess from that picture which one is from our chickens and which one is a store-bought egg? Well, if you answered the bright orange one is homegrown, well, you are correct. And what an amazing difference it is when you feed your chicken not just grains, but also the scraps from our own house, greens, lettuce, apples, fruit, I mean, you name it, they get it, and they're producing such high quality eggs. I was really excited to see that. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the next six days of lunches. I hope you'll be inspired and don't forget if you're new here to please subscribe to our channel where every Monday we have a new episode of The Frugal Diner's Diary. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We're a family of 10 ages. Well, the kids are ages 17 down to one years old. I cook most of my food here at home. My name's Janelle. My husband is Art. You'll see him probably in a few minutes. Our food budget is right around $5,500 a year. So that's really keeping our meals down per serving pretty inexpensively. Today's lunch is one of those inexpensive items. I have a big pot here of tomato soup here. We made this from scratch. And then these breadsticks, you saw these this in my dinner menu. We have these a lot. They're easy to throw together, tasty, and they're great with soups and things like that. So I buy the large cans um, of crushed tomatoes when they're on sale, which is anywhere from 49 cents to 69 cents a can. So those cans for one batch, it's a good, good healthy four to six, nice size bowls of tomato soup. For our family, we're using two of, I don't know what number they are, they're 28 ounce cans of tomatoes. I picked these up on sale. So if I got them for 69 cents, that's $1.38 for just the tomatoes. There's some herbs in there, marginal onions in there. I use the frozen onions because they're a little bit cheaper. And then just some herbs. I add a little bit of half and half to it. The tomato soup is done. It's delicious. It's heartier than buying the cans of condensed soup. It tastes so much better and it feeds all of us very well. The bread, the flour that I use for the breadsticks, I buy in bulk, so that is very inexpensive as well. And this makes a really, really great lunch, inexpensively, and I think lunches are one of the ways that really helps me keep our food budget down to a good, good, uh, reasonable amount. And if you're looking for this recipe, you can find a printable recipe link in the description below. For lunch, we've got <laughs> leftovers. I feel like this is, I'm a broken record. Charity threw together some more breadsticks for me. So right now, and if you watch our dinner edition of the Frugal Diner's Diary, you probably saw that. We're doing a lot of leftovers and a lot of homemade breads and things like that. I'm a bit off kilter. I wouldn't say this is normal, but we're not doing, I'm not cooking as much right now. I've been doing a lot of homeschooling and that's just the time in life right now is working on school, doing a lot of things like that. 
So Charity has been helping me the days that she's home and she's not working or at school to get some of this food together. Oh, Peter, awesome. See you, see you Peter just water. found a giant bottle of caramel extract, which I use in all my shakes. So great, that's great news. But anyways, you guys, again, get to see real life here. This is what we're eating right now. Um, we'll probably throw in, or we'll probably cut up some oranges and apples. We're almost at two weeks since we've been grocery shopping. And I'm going to see if I can push it to three weeks. That's, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that, please. Uh, three weeks, so, you know, just stretching out the budget, making me um, dig a little bit deeper on reserves. I'm thinking we might do like a beans and rice type of meal coming up. I don't know if I'll do it for lunch or meals, but that's sort of what's turning in my mind just to stretch our food for another week. Again, we have tons of um, stock in our pantry, in our bulk food containers that I'm just trying to incorporate that into our meals and bring that down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get going here and get lunch on the table. Here is, here's what's left of our meal. I forgot to get a video before we started. Uh, and obviously the kids like it, so. I like it, I like it. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I like the oranges. And I we, like the and we, what we do is we take a little bit of I our like oats and we put it into Daniel's food and then, so he, he can eat the soup without it spilling everywhere. And he likes that. So for lunch today, what we're doing is I am just picking the meat off the bones from those chicken thighs that I cooked for dinner, was that two days ago? Three days ago? I don't know, something like that. And I'm going to just wrap it. We had some leftover rice too. So I'm mixing this all together and we're going to put that in tortillas with lettuce and cheese. Kids love meals like this. It's a great way to use up little leftovers like this. Before we had a lot of kids. This would be enough for a meal for like three or four people. But now that we're at 10, yeah, this isn't enough for a meal. So we do a lot with tortillas, wrapping them up and it just, it stretches a smaller amount, but it makes sure we don't waste anything. And that I think is the biggest takeaway I can offer anyone is don't waste any of your food. You know, find a way to incorporate it into another dish. In this case, we throw it in with tortillas and the kids will just gobble this right up. Yeah, add a little cheese to it and yep. lettuce and a few other Some things. fruit, milk, we're good to go. We've got a meal. Well, usually don't put the fruit in their tortillas. <laughs> Oh, look, don't put the milk in the tortillas. Oh. That would be kind of yucky. Here's our rice and chicken. The kids are going to fill up their tortillas with some cheese, some lettuce, and then they can just top it off with um, whatever dressings they would like. And then for Mr. Daniel, well, if he we wants some of that, he can. Too. We have applesauce and a banana. So for lunch this afternoon, in fact, the kids have already eaten most of our lunch today. Uh, I went grocery shopping today. Mr. Daniel's not too happy at the moment. That's why he's, he's sitting in the high chair and he wants to be the center of the conversation here. We went grocery shopping this morning and I'm doing some filming, but lunch was not the best. Well, I'll just show you what I made. No. Is that better? No. Did you just want to no. see yourself? Oh, don't grump at the baby. Be happy. Hi. Smile at the baby. Oh. <laughs> we have some of those raviolis that we had picked up on clearance at Aldi's today. Well, no, we picked up the ravioli several, what, two months ago? Three yeah. months ago. But they were at Aldi. And then we put some marinara sauce on them and we have some apples. Some days you have to have easy days. And well, today is one of those easy days. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully tomorrow I can get cooking. Maybe we'll make some bread, slice it up, have some sandwiches. It's been a while since we've done that. Today I'm making, usually it's beef and cabbage, today it's going to be sausage, cabbage, and pretty much whatever is in the refrigerator is getting dumped in. I have the, the cabbage shredded. This I just cut with a knife. This is a half of a cabbage, so this should be enough for us. I also found in the refrigerator a little bit of tomato sauce, and then last night we had some leftover enchilada sauce, so we're going to throw all that in, a little bit of water. 
And is the is this done, sweetheart? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's starting to brown. Let me give that a quick. Mm. Cabbage, good. You like raw cabbage? Oh, mommy. Do you remember okay. the cabbage that you put the sauce in it? Yes. Okay. You so, need to make whoop, that too. I better go on this side. Ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Um, be careful. Don't let this spill all over the place. Mm. Ooh. You can see if I use a whole head of cabbage, we'd have two, not enough room in this pan. So there's the cabbage. Um, Mary, can you add about a half a cup of water to that, please? Half. Half. A so, half a cup. No, you know what? I want Mary, go put a little water in there and rinse that out. But don't put the water. Mary, turn around. We're going to take the water that you rinsed out and pour it in there so we get all the good sauce. Just a little bit. Yep, that's good. Oh. And Charity just found another thing. So see, this is what we're calling dump cabbage sausage something. And we're going to put black beans in there. Oh, could you move, Gracie, could you move the wooden spoon? Thank you very much. All right. Ooh, and then we're going to put a lid on it and just let this cook for about 20 minutes. A couple of pinches of salt. Kind of have to do this to taste. I'll just put in a little bit for now. Yes, we're vacuuming the house. So I hope you can hear me all. A little bit of garlic powder. Lot more than a little. Oh, well, we like it really garlicky. <laughs> a little bit of cumin because that um, the enchilada sauce is just not enough to flavor this. And we like our food really flavorful. Then some chili powder. And then the mix. This one is a little There we go. Also, I also have some black beans that I had cooked yesterday for a video and that should be coming out you guys are going to be watching this monday so it, it will either be out on wednesday or friday i think it'll be out on wednesday there's two parts to it on uh, how i cook black beans and which one is most cost efficient whether it's dried or canned hello kiddo but i have leftovers of those because i cooked a ton of beans so we're actually going to throw those in there too wrap them up in tortillas feel like a broken record, but this is what we eat. We love this dish. Um, I'll taste it after it's cooked and see if I need to add anything. Sometimes we add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Is it done? No, it's got about 20 minutes to go, okay? Can I see myself? You want to see yourself? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got to move your baba because Charity's coming with the vacuum. Okay, this looks like it's just about done. I'm just going to add the beans to it to heat those beans up. Or absorb a little flavor, but oh, smells good. Time for the black beans. All of them? No, probably not. Probably half of them. No, that. Stir those in. See how Just gave it a taste. Amazing. It never comes out, comes out the same twice. Charity will make it. It'll taste great, but it won't taste like this. I make it. It's totally different. It's almost like, what do they call that? Dump soup? Where you just yeah, dump soup. You take everything from the refrigerator and dump it into a pot. This is sort of like dump cabbage, but delicious. Absolutely delicious. Don't really have a recipe. Just take the concept, guys. Try it yourself. You can use, you know, if you want to do the Mexican, more of the Mexican flavors, go ahead and use your cumin and your chili powder. If you want more spaghetti type, use your oregano and your basil in there. And just don't use that. I am putting the, the kids like hot pepper flakes, so we're gonna put hot pepper flakes for those who want them. And yeah, this is this list is done. There we have it: apples, some cheese, my beans, sausage, and cabbage, some tortillas, lettuce, cheese, hot pepper flakes, water. I think we're good. You guys hungry? Yes. It is Saturday, and well, the plan is to do pizza. But if you guys look over there, isn't that awful? It is. But we have been working on planning out the new ki the new kitchen. If, I had did a video on the kitchen remodel. If you didn't watch that, I'll put a link for that. You guys can go watch that and see what I'm talking about. But the one thing Art and I needed to do is take this island here, and we were sorting out what needed to be because Art's gonna. Be, the plan is for Art to build this island starting uh, Monday. <laughs> we need to figure out measurements. And the only one that knew what I wanted where was moi, which means brain power. So we spent two hours, the last two hours, working on this, getting it sorted out. It's now 11.50, a little later than I would like for lunch. Earlier this morning, Charity helped make 
some pizza dough. Daniel here is going to help me make the pizza dough. Art's helping me pick up the kitchen. Sure, you sure can help, Grace. That would be great. You hungry? Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. All right, let's get cooking. Does that look yummy? Can you say pizza? Papa. Pizza. Pizza. Is it pizza? <laughs> no, you can't eat it through the glass. He's kissing the glass hard. Just... Oh, no, dear. You yummy. <laughs> yes, that's the camera. Oh, nice. In fact, too. Does that look yummy? Yum, yum, yum. Should I pull it out and we can eat it? I'm going to cut this. No, you get more because there's enough. Yeah, all of us get some because there's enough. I'm going to go. Yes, I'm going to And oranges, yeah, salad, everybody, everybody and done. sausage and onion pizza today. Pizza. So there you have it. Six days of lunches. You get to see the good, the not so good, the bad, the ugly. You get to see the whole works. If you're looking for any of the recipes or the links, you'll find them down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Next week's episode is going to be all of our breakfast menus for our family of 10 and how we do it. Because we're cooking three meals a day, 10 servings. So it's a big, it's a big process, but you get to see how we do it in real life. Thanks so much for watching. I hope wherever you are, you are having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.